Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary, legendary celestial, celestial wolves. Supremely, supremely entertaining, entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skolanati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildesgini and the Elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although the beer girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. There's the moon. Uh, box? box? Down there. Down there. That's gotta be, That's it. gotta be it. This is definitely, definitely an, ambush. an ambush. Yes. Look out! Look out! Oh, oh, little brother, you're covered in my rock. <laughs> Watch your right. Go! 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 Go!
Dean, hold you up. Left flank. Boy, help you. Just hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Oh. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a weird thing to say. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes, I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yotnar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. Yeah, brother. What are you doing or nothing? Oh! 
Ara ya ara ya From hell on. I'm almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. What's on the table? Oh dear. Okay. That's we the can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. <laughs> But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. 